here today. And I want to start with um, SAP. So we were talking about SAP just a moment ago. Um, SAP's S4 HANA is sort of their their flagship product that they are um, that they've been promoting for several years now, close to a decade now. S4 HANA has been sort of the flagship SAP product. Um, they have uh, a large subset of their customer base, their legacy customer base, that are still using ECC or R3 that have not yet made the transition to S4 HANA. Um, S4 HANA brings a whole new architecture and platform compared to legacy SAP systems. Um, the HANA sort of real-time uh, database platform that they've built HANA on or S4 HANA on, um, on that HANA platform has been um, sort of a real change in strategy for SAP. Um, so part of it was to provide faster performance for their databases, and, and especially when you get into analytics and now with AI, this can be a really big deal, um, but just getting fast access to data and also um, HANA's or SAP's building of S4 HANA on the HANA platform also uh, reduced or eliminated SAP's dependency on Oracle to provide Oracle databases, uh, which in the past SAP had relied on Oracle technology as, as some, some of the underlying database technology. As you probably can imagine, SAP and Oracle are, are fierce competitors in the ERP space, but they were also supplier and, and um, customer, you know, on the back end technology up until now. So with SAP HANA, with that platform, they've sort of mitigated that risk, if you will, or, or that dependency on, on Oracle for its, its database technology. So those are a couple of things or a couple of advantages, I suppose you could say, that uh, HANA brings to the table. Um, just like um, any past SAP products, though, um, S4 HANA is very complex. It's very broad. It's very robust. You can do a lot of stuff, which is great if you're a diversified multinational organization. But where it gets tricky is if you are a mid-sized organization, there's going to be cases where it might be too much for you. It's too, too much complexity, too much risk, too much cost. Um, but if you're trying to scale for growth, you want to become that multi-billion dollar multinational organization in the coming years, S4 HANA could be a great platform to help you help you get there. So I'd love to hear feedback from the audience here. If you've used SAP before, if you're in the SAP community, we'd love to hear your, your feedback here on what your thoughts are on S4 HANA. Uh, one thing I'll mention is we've, we've seen some clients, and this is becoming less true over time, but it's still true to some degree, but we're seeing some clients that still struggle with some of the capabilities that they were accustomed to in ECC, the legacy SAP product that has not yet made it over to the S4 HANA platform. In other words, they haven't transitioned every single nook and cranny and feature and function of ECC has not yet made that migration over to S4 HANA especially when you get into some more complex manufacturing processes or advanced planning, things of that nature, there just simply isn't that maturity and that established functionality that ECC had for decades, which is understandable. S4 HANA hasn't even been a full decade yet. They're coming up on a decade, but it hasn't been a full decade, whereas ECC had been around for multiple decades, a lot of R&D dollars, a lot of time to build those capabilities. So um, those are some things to consider. Um, you know, There's also the issue of of SAP's mandate or its sunset date for legacy customers to move off of ECC, that's creating a lot of anxiety and fear and doubt in the SAP community. And it's also putting a strain on SAP consultants and implementation technology providers um, to where there's a spike in demand that is difficult for a lot of organizations to satisfy or, or to keep up with. So those are some of the things we've got to consider as well is is it the right time for us to make that jump and is our implementation plan realistic in that nature um, based on availability of resources and whatnot so those are some of the the strengths and weaknesses of sap again i started my career as a certified sap consultant for the first three years of my career all i did was sap stuff and this is back you know r3 uh, which is the you know the major platform before ecc back in the late 90s so this is a long time ago but i i sort of grew up in the sap space uh, for better or for worse and uh you know, I think um, actually my understanding of SAP has sort of shaped my opinion of the ERP space in, in general. Um, but there's there's some different pros and cons um, to SAP um, and the S4 HANA product. 